Now in this question, we've got to first of all sketch the graph of y equals the mod of x plus 3 and then explain why the mod of x plus 3 is always greater than or equal to all of the mod of x plus 3 for all real values of x. Well, first of all then, if we've got to sketch the graph of y equals the mod of x plus 3, you should be familiar with the graph of y equals mod x alone. Here it is, here, okay? It's based on the graph of y equals just x alone, which would be a diagonal like this. And remember that whenever you've got any negative values of y, okay, then they're going to become positive values, so you get a reflection in the x-axis like so, okay? So the graph then of y equals the mod of x. It's symmetrical about the y-axis. Now when it comes to adding three more, we just translate the graph because we're adding three more to the y value. We just translate it upwards. So you're going to get basically something like this happening. This is going to move upwards, let's say there, three more units. And what we end up with then is the graph of y equals the mod of x plus three. And there we have it, okay? Might want to actually put in that this point here on the y-axis is 3, okay? Now, if we've got to explain why the mod of x plus 3 is greater than all of the mod of x plus 3, then let's just draw the graph of y equals the mod of x plus 3. If we were to draw the graph of just y equals x plus 3, then that graph is going to look something like this. It would come from here, it would lie on top of this graph, okay, and it would come all the way down and pass through the x-axis at negative 3 all the way down like this, okay? So let's just draw that in, something like this, okay? Meant to be on top, it's just missed it there. It will cut the x-axis at negative 3, but when we take the modulus, these negative values here are reflected in the y-axis, so you're going to get something like this, okay? And that would be the graph then of y equals the mod of all of x plus 3. So, can you see now that from this graph, I'll just make that line a little bit thicker there, okay? Something like this, Let's just do it a few more times, there we go, all right, okay. If we take any value of x, let's say we take a value of x here, if we were to substitute it into this graph and into this graph here, they'll give us exactly the same value, okay? That's for values of x greater than zero. But when we take values of x less than zero, can you see that for any value of x, let's say we took this one here, we would get this value if we were to substitute in the mod of all of x plus 3, but we would get a greater value if we were to substitute it into just y equals the mod of x plus 3, because this graph is above this graph here when we take negative values of x. So in summary then, you can see that since the graph of the y equals mod of x plus 3 is always above or equal to the graph of y equals the mod of all of x plus 3 for all corresponding values of x, then this statement, the mod of x plus 3, is always greater than or equal to the mod of all of x plus 3 for all real values of x. All right?